Uh, Turtle is back and I'm here bringing you guys a Minecraft video. I'm going to show you guys how to get every head and how to open up this like like every head and stuff even the dragon head. I'm sorry I can't go to third person um, I kind of got shot down you know <laughs> because my joystick doesn't like to work. Anyway so I'm gonna start by getting rid of this water. This is going to be our first step. So what you guys need to do, you guys need to come in here with the bookshelves and everything. And up above over here is where water is. You need to hit it three times. Sorry, hold on. Let me make sure that's right. Two, three. Yeah, three times. Then, you come down here. Oh, oops, sorry. Lagged a little bit. Come in here. And this should be opened. So you climb down here. You open this because then it drains all the water from the middle. Well, let's go see. Yep, see, yep, the water's draining. Now, to open this up after you drain the water, you have to press the lever that's right here. And now your thing's open. We're not going to go down there yet until we get every single head. So I'm going to start off by the one of the most easiest heads possible. So one of the most easiest common ones everybody should get is the wither skeleton head. If you come up these stairs, you will find a hole, and in the hole is there's a lever. Uh, hit that lever, I think I hit it. Drop down, and it's opened. So you come into the nether area, and down here somewhere, there should be a chest right here. And now you got the wither skeleton. Sweet. Alright. Oops, sorry. Alright, let's go up these stairs and move on to the next head. Alright. So, our next head that we're going to target for is going to be, I think it's the, not the zombie, I think it's, it's not the skeleton either. Uh, we'll figure, I'll, sh you guys, I'll figure it out in a minute. I forgot which one this one is. So you come in here, and you make the sword look that way. So then you come out, and you come over here where this opens up, and it gives you snowballs. And then, you're supposed to put this sword like that, I think, yeah. So come back in here. Now, this one is a little unique of a setup. This one's supposed to be set up in a unique way, so let me see if I got it. And then down here is a little contraption where the Steve head is located. Lovely. I'm positive there's supposed to be a head right at this right here. What was I supposed to hit? Oh well. If I did miss that, I'll make sure to try getting that back in here. Anyway, now we're going to head over to this area over here. Now, for this one, you gotta be really fast. You gotta be able to hit these buttons, like, all in a sequence super duper fast, like. Or you cannot open this one. Got it. So, there's the zombie head. Beautiful. Alright. Next, I'm going to open the one that's, like, right here. So for this, we're going to have to go up to the top of the tower. Uh, let me go ahead and prepare for what we're about to do. So take those. You know how up here there's this pressure plate? Well, on the other side, there's another pressure plate. So what you're supposed to do, you need to take a snowball. Oh, I hate when it does that. Take a snowball and throw it onto the pressure plate and then run to the other side and put another one onto the other pressure plate. I'm just going to take the fat route here and do this. And if you guys are wondering how you're supposed to get up here, you come up here to the treetops and you climb over this right here. 
and now you go upstairs. And then you take this snowball and you throw it onto there. Now we come out here, jump down real fast. And this little contraption should open. And now you have the creeper head. Now, last but not least, we need to. So I was right. So I was good in that one part. So all you need now is the uh, s uh, skeleton head. I think they only give you one of these just because of how you're supposed to get it. But it's a really easy one to get. So almost all of these are pretty easy once you figure out like how each contraption works, how to open certain things, you know. So now uh, we go back into the library, and I want you guys to climb all the way to the very top, please. And, um, oh, you're supposed to come right here. Try crouching if you have to, right here. And you see that button? We're gonna try hitting it. And there's my skeleton head. Perfect. I only need one for this. Alright, so we got the skeleton head, we got the wither skeleton head, we got the regular uh, Steve head, the zombie head, and the creeper head. So now we're going to head into here for the final touching to get this, uh, the dragon head. So as you see, now we're going to take each one of the heads and place it inside of here. Whoops. And all the things will light up. And then it should open two different doors. One right here and one on the other side right there. And then you come up here, press the button, and you get the beautiful dragon head. So we're this with pride. <laughs> but anyway, that is it how you open up to down here and that's how you get the dragon head and every other head. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am so happy I found out how to get every single head so I could show you guys exactly what to do. If I end up finding any more surprise Easter eggs or any other things along the way I will make sure to record them on video for you guys and as always I will see you guys in the next video